What's up guys, War here, and today we're talking about the Infernal Machines. I'm gonna show you how to get them, and most importantly, how to use them inside of Diablo 3. So let's do it. You first, you might be asking yourself, what are Infernal Machines? Infernal Machines are a portable device that can be used inside the Tainted Abode to open portables to the realms of pure evil. There are four different Infernal Machines, and I'm going to show you how to get all of them. To get all four Infernal Machines is actually quite easy. The first thing that you have to do is become a level 70 character, otherwise the Key Wardens won't spawn inside Adventure Mode. So next is on the map, how do you know where Key Wardens are? It's actually pretty easy. If you look on the map, there's going to be a key indicated next to the, to the location that they actually spawn at. And when you go there, it's going to have a purple arrow to indicate where you have to go to get to the Key Warden. Key Wardens are mini bosses that drop the Infernal Machines. With one being in each act, each Key Warden drops a different type of Infernal Machine. Ogden the Key Warden in Act 1 drops the Infernal Machine of Regret. Sokar, the Key Warden, in Act 2, drops the Infernal Machine of Putridness. And Zakrith, the Key Warden, in Act 3, drops the Infernal Machine of Terror. And Nekara, the Key Warden, in Act 4, drops the Infernal Machine of Fright. Now, once you have all your machines, it's actually pretty easy to use them. But for most players who haven't, or new players, it's actually kind of difficult to figure out. But I'm going to show you how. So you want to come to New Tristam in Act 1. You're going to go all the way around to the, to the Healer. And you think, oh crap, well how do I get to it? So it's this door right here and all you're going to do is shoot it. And it opens up the Herodrix abode. You're going to go in. Now how do you get to the portals to go fight the bosses? Well, once you right click on either one of these regrets, it's going to open up a portal. It's going to open up the portal to putridness. Terror, regret, it opens all four. Once you've opened up all the portals, once you go inside, you're going to fight two bosses from the game in each portal. Once defeating them, you're going to get all four resources that you need to craft the Hellfire rings and amulets. Now, which portals drop which? I'll show you. So, these are the four uh, materials that you're going to get from defeating all these bosses. So, in the Realm of Regret drops the Oryx uh, Regret. The Realm of Putridness drops the Vile, the Realm of Terror drops the Idol, and then the Realm of Fright drops the Heart of Fright. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a quick example of how to do this. So after you've got all your Infernal Machines, you open up a portal. We're going to go in and fight one, so let's just do the Realm of Fright. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be fighting two bosses. Oh, no. The Soul of Evil. It's Diablo. All right. All right, so we got the soul of evil done. And then every time that after you're finished, you got to teleport back to town, run back to the same building, and then go to the next portal. We'll do another one just to showcase how quick this is, guys. So you come in, do the next one. Now we're going to do the Realm of Terror. Real quick and easy, you fight two bosses, and this one we get what? The Behemoth, and then the Undying one, which is basically, what's his name? I forget his name, but he, th there goes the uh, Idol of Terror. So it's real quick, guys, once you actually open the portals to do it. So, But after you get them, you see that we got everything to be able to go uh, forge our amulets and our rings. Now, these four materials are going to be used to craft your Hellfire Ring and Amulet. So, you just come over to the jeweler. You're going to craft one with the corresponding um, attribute that you use. And it's really easy. It's one of each plus some Forgotten Souls. So, you see here I have my Hellfire Ring and Amulet. These items are really powerful, especially the Hellfire Ring, which you can use to boost your brand new characters, which I'll link a video for that above, guys. And then the Hellfire Amulet is super strong because it gives you that extra passive. Now, when it comes to grinding or farming these infernal machines, along with going in and defeating the bosses to get the materials, it's actually really quick, and I just rope it into doing my bounty farming. So that way, in each act, when you're doing them, you just come over here, even if the Field of Misery doesn't have a bounty on it, you just come over here real quick and kill the Key Warden. It only takes a couple of seconds, guys. So if you wanted to farm these, I would rope them into farming your bounty mats um, in each game and just, just back out, reset 
reset and do it all over again. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it does help you out on what are Infernal Machines, how to get them, and then how to use them. I know a lot of players struggle with unlocking that room or not knowing how to unlock that room to do it. So if you, this video did help you out, guys, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.